Howdy, and welcome to Daily Miles. Do me a solid, hit that like button down below, helps out the channel. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button for more content. All right, let's get into today's topic. Today's topic deals with a man named Bill Paley. And you're gonna say to me, Miles, who the f is Bill Paley and why the hell do I care? There's a payoff at the end, I swear to G-O-D. So, Bill Paley, who's Bill Paley? Bill Paley was the chairman and CEO of the Columbia Broadcasting System. This happened in the 1930s, when ABC was on top of the ratings and CBS was just below them. Well, not just below them, way below them. But they were one and two for a little while. That would soon change. Paley was pissed at this idea. He did not want CBS to be second. He knew that they were better than what ABC had was putting out. So, he hatched his plan. The plan was something that had never been done before. And that was to do a monster, massive ad buy. And with an ad buy like that, in every newspaper in the country, every single one of them, this would have cost millions of dollars in the 1930s. Unheard of. He needed his board's approval to spend that kind of cash. Well, he went to the board and the board said in no uncertain terms, no, unless, here's the unless, unless you give us a business class reason. So, Paley went back down to his office and what he came up with was doing an RFP to every ad agency in New York City. Request for proposal, RFP. So every ad agency wanted CBS's button, uh, wanted their wanted wanted their money. He heard every pitch, every sales idea he could think of, and some he hadn't even heard of. But he just yawned after a while. Said, "I've heard this one out. I've heard that one out. I've heard that one out." But in the middle of all this stuff, he comes across this salesman, and the salesman does what every other salesman has done at this point, and tries to sell his idea to Paley. Paley's not having any of it and rushes him out of his office and essentially closes the RFP. The salesman, on the other hand, is not giving up. He comes back to Paley's office every single day for months. This goes on for six months. He bribes his secretary with breakfast, snacks, and lunch. He bribes the security guards to let him into the building, to keep him in the building because when this guy shows up every single day, Paley basically tells the security security guards, do not let him back into the building. He bribes the security guards, Paley fires his entire security staff, and then kicks the guy out. He has one more trick up his sleeve. He bribes the sanitation workers to let him into the building. He finally gets back up to Paley's office. As he's coming around hard and fast, he runs right into Bill Paley. Paley says, how the hell did you get into this office? He says, Mr. Paley, that doesn't matter. I need five minutes of your time and then I've gone. I will never see you ever again if you let me have five minutes of your time. Paley is so incensed, he's like, fine, let's just do this. So he goes into his office. They both sit down. Paley on his side of the desk and the salesman on his side of the desk. The salesman reaches into his briefcase and pulls out a single blank sheet of paper and a pen, puts it down on the desk and slides it across to Mr. Paley. Paley says, what am I supposed to do with that? He's, the salesman says, glad you asked that question. Mr. Paley, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down three things that an ad campaign can do for you. Paley says, that's easy. He writes it down, bing, 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 bing. He says, now what? He says, give me the piece of paper. So he slides the piece of paper back across to the salesman. Salesman picks up the piece of paper, reads the information on the piece of paper diligently and dutifully. then puts the piece of paper down on the desk and slides it across to Mr. Paley. And he says to Mr. Paley, Mr. Paley, that is what my ad campaign will do for you. Paley is so impressed with this, he hires him on the spot, goes up to his board of directors and says, this is what my ad campaign will do. What happened next is history. Paley got his ad buy and CBS became the number one radio network in the country for years. So why am I telling you this story? 
Here's why I'm telling you this story. What I learned from that story is that perseverance is the key to what you're doing. Stay focused on your goal at all times. Don't let it out of your sight. Do what you, do, what you gotta do to make it happen. Which is to say this, I don't know what's, what the future holds for me. I really don't. I wish I did. If I, if I had a crystal ball, trust me, I'd be using that thing left, right, and center, but I don't. What I do know is this, is that I'm gonna keep doing what I'm gonna keep doing. As long as I can. So you're thinking, he wants money. He wants something. He wants likes or subs or money. Nope. I don't. I don't want any of it. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for being my support system. And thank you for hearing me. I appreciate you greatly. And as a tiny little payoff, this. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time, your patience, and your patronage. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.